you will not replace it after watching this video you are welcome to my channel felix techno Ed. we help you increase your knowledge through technical videos if you are new here make sure you subscribe make sure you hit subscribe button like and share so today i'm going to show you how you can test adjust and bypass LG washing machine door lock if door lock is defective especially for LG washing machine it will display DE door error so in that case you have to check door switch or door lock first of all check if it is being supplied by power 220 check voltage between pin number one and pin number three this yellow and this blue cable if it is being supplied by 220 if it is not being supplied in that case main board is defective do not suspect the dual lock when the dual lock is not being supplied detach it and check heater because in, inside it has heater check heater if the re heater resistivity if the it, its resistance is not around 200 ohms now you have to bypass if the resistance is 200 ohms is around 200 ohms now it is a time to adjust here there is adjusting screw here I hope you can you can use a flat screwdriver to adjust this screw turn it in clockwise direction inside there is a heater that heater is closer to the thermal expansion conductor if you are adjusting this screw you are moving that thermal expansion conductor closer or far away from the heater in that case you can increasing heating time releasing time or closing time of this washing machine door switch or door lock so inside it has heater and thermal expansion conductor If those steps uh, uh, don't work for you, uh, last step is to bypass. So before I show you how to bypass it, let me show you the circuit diagram of LG washing machine dual lock or dual switch. This is the circuit diagram of dual lock. Dual lock, sorry. Uh, pin number one and pin number three is they supply the heater. They supply heater and this heater heat up this uh, uh, this thermal expansion conductor this thermal expansion conductor works like a thermostat the thermostat no matter how it does if it get heat it dilates. this conductor dilates and close or open the contact so it is the same way like this uh, here in uh, this dual lock when this uh, heater or thermal expansion conductor is heated, it close the contact here, this contact, this switch here, this switch contact here. This switch contact here is along with this hook. If it goes down, it goes down with, alongside with this hook. This hook is to, to lock the mechanism, spring mechanism of the door. You, I think you know that when once the door is once the washing machine is washing or working you cannot open the door this is the safety safety means of this door lock now you see that uh, pin number two it is like a output signal output command which tells the main board whether the washing machine, washing machine door is closed or not. So now you can see here, what you normally you have to do is to create a path, electrical path between pin number one and pin number two. You can put wire, external, external wire, 
here between the black cable and blue here or you can open this lock and bypass it internally but remember to to remove that black hook this is the mechanism there is a spring here if you don't remove that hook there will be uh, that related problem like not releasing a door because that hook the role of that hook is to stack or to block this moving mechanism back and forth if it goes back now the door is released so now let me check this one I check the resistivity or resistance so now I have to check resistance between pin number one and pin number three pin number three is in the middle pin number one and pin number three you can see it is show, it's showing infinite pin number one and pin number three it is supply supply of the heat infinite it's showing infinite the heater inside the heater is defective this lock is defective now we have to bypass do not short pin one pin number one and pin number three because they are supply one is neutral and one is live now you, to bypass it you have to create short circuit or short between pin number three pin in the middle and the pin and the light pin, pin number two or pin number third from from left to your light. Last pin is pin number number two. The middle is pin number three. You have to bypass or to short pin number three and pin number two, middle and light pin. Here you can see this one is disassembled. I have removed heater and thermo thermo expansion conductor and hook. Hook is removed, heater is removed, and thermo expansion conductor is removed. So now I can I can close it like this that is time to check the continuity between number two and number three using this digital multimeter let me check the continuity Pin, pin number two and pin number three. As you can see, there is a continuity. Now this switch is bypassed. Now I, I can attach this mechanism. I can attach this mechanism. Now this dual lock or dual switch is ready for use. It is bypassed. So hey guys, I hope you have seen how you can check, adjust and bypass 
here is your washing machine dual switch or dual lock if you are happy with this video let me know in a comment you know I have I still have uh, few subscribers don't forget to subscribe today you can click on subscribe button like and share this video thank you for watching see you in my next videos